my kako. Today it is La Pule, which is Sunday, and it is Yanuwali. I think it's Umi Kumaha, which is the 14th. Is it the 14th? Yeah. Yes, the 14th. We just got finished with church. We're leaving right now. We went to the second service, which is like our favorite because it's just like perfect to wake up kind of early and to be able to still have a long rest of the day to do things. We're leaving church right now. We ate breakfast at church. They had corned beef hash. I Our, ate too much. Yeah. Darren ate like two of the kids things. Plates. The lighting is kind of weird. Don't mind my nose ring again. It's kind of like a sore because I irritated it. So it kind of... Tita. You're so silly, Tita. So silly, Tita. Oh god. That's for Kainui. That's for Kainui, yeah. So silly, Tita. So hey, you have to buckle up. Sorry. One, two, three. Buckle. Anyway, Paulele was just saying something about school because this is her only school Myla. at church. Wow. That's. Give me, give me, give me. Oh, no. And she's put in her mouth. Yeah, Paulele. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Oh, hey man, it's like always like the biggest thing. Like, ah, it's upside down. Like, I mean, even if you're like, 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 Okay, so I don't know what I was saying. Oh yeah, Paula likes to go to church. Every time we pull up in the driveway, she's always like, bye mom, bye daddy, because she likes to go to school. She just loves school. <laughs> Gotta get them reusable bags. Oh, what's in here, clothes? Lila's outfit of the day. She's wearing a pineapple t-shirt dress, but this is like about, I don't know, like a 2 tees. It's a little short on her, so I decided to put a skirt. And this is the first time she's wearing this corduroy skirt. So cute, but we forgot her brown shoes, so she's wearing those pink rain boots that was left in the car. It's you, what you gonna do? I see. <laughs> First stop, cat food. Let's see. Lightly salted, original, caramel. Let's get the original. I'm gonna do mandarin oranges. See, what is that? She's sifting? Yeah. Aw, daddy's buckling enough, your friend. So cute. All of the Annie organic pastas are completely off the shelf. And that's what I usually get for Paulele. Oh, there's bone ones. Okay, yeah, let's do that then. Those are actually better because. Me and Paulele is sitting down. <laughs> We're sitting down in the car. I sip a whole deal. That's a superhero? Yeah. It's a poodle superhero. Yeah, I'm super hot. Wow, so awesome. Ula, 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 ula. And ten super hot. Catchy super hot. Yeah, you're really pushing me. Why not? Am I that heavy? We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Oh. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. You go like this. Head, shoulders, knees.
So we just finished Target. Target? We just finished Target shopping. But with that story I was trying to say earlier about our pastor coming up to us, I thought he initially was just coming up to meet families and just to get to know the people that go to his church, you know. And to my surprise, then he, after asking about like what is our kids' names and stuff, he said that he watches our vlogs. That was so crazy, uh huh? Great. We were like almost starstruck in a way. Even though people don't look at pastors like celebrities, it's kind of it's someone that we look up to, and it's somewhat of a celebrity because people know him a lot. People are staring at me talking to the camera. <laughs> That's okay. It was it's pretty almost like Jesus saying, "I watch your vlogs." <laughs> <laughs> But that is pretty cool. He already started vlogging as well, which is pretty cool. I think that is so awesome. And I probably would definitely want to watch his vlogs if he ever posts them on YouTube. I got to figure out what he's trying to name. I should have asked that. That is so awesome. Thank you, Pastor Sheldon, for watching our vlogs. That's so cool. We think it's so cool. Yeah, I was just so in shock. Like, I was in shock for a while after finding out that our pastor watches our vlog. We just got finished at Target, like I said, but we're now at Safeway, which is right next door to Target. So, gotta just drive in the same parking lot so we're closer. And we're gonna go get fruits and veggies and maybe Starbucks because they have a better selection of fresh produce. Plum Match Daddy almost to the T. He's wearing the same shirt as him and some jean shorts too. Sat next to daddy. Twins. And they got their pohaku necklaces that Cody made. <laughs> Look at Missy over here acting like she's all grown. <laughs> I look at him up in there acting like he's all grown. <laughs> Paula is eating once again. Mama. Oh no, thank you. Thank you. You too. This is what we have so far. We got some cutie oranges, blue bellies, red bellies, black bellies, stub bellies, fruit bowl, cherry tomatoes, wonton shrimp, spam, 25% less sodium. Ooh, papaya. Green tea latte. But she was right, you're supposed to pad it. Mark oh. it with P. Mark it with P, okay. Yeah, Mark Paul Lely Mark, oh, Mark it with P. Okay. Okay. Baker's man. Bake as fast as you can. Roll it. Pad, pad it. it. Pad it. Mark it with P. For me. Yay! Yay. Can I say this is what one half of the Kinder Egg looks like. It's like custard I can fix or something. It. And there's chocolate, and chocolate on the bottom of that. Oh. My niece and I waiting for us. <laughs> me and Darren were just talking about the message in church today. The lady that was talking on the mic, she was explaining how we all felt for me like what she was saying that she was kind of like calm when you know god and you just pray everything is just like it just calms you down that's like the first thing i did i was pray and surprisingly i didn't like have a panic attack or anything i actually felt very calm i knew if we were gonna go we were gonna be with god because we know god actually i the one thing i really thought about though was my my dad oh because he never met your dad yeah, yeah. so i kind of was like but in a way, it's like I was sad. Like I was thinking, like oh, you know, I've, I never met him. But then I was thinking, like at least I got to talk to him, you know, like yeah. recently. Obviously, all you guys I was thinking about, but I thought it was like a main person I was thinking because I was like that was sucking. <laughs> yeah, I've seen so many stories of people saying they weren't with their kids 
or they weren't with their family like they're at work or they're just out doing errands i was so thankful that we we're all together already i didn't need to worry i haven't worked in a while but sometimes i do side jobs or i work yeah. on saturdays Does like imagine if like because i usually start at seven and i would have like got the thing like oh shoot like, i think i would have felt very differently if darren wasn't there but since we we're all together yeah i feel more i was more at peace with it like drunk. if we we're gonna go like i was like we're gonna go at least you know god and i know like what happens after we die so it's like i was pretty calm like other people were saying that they were crying and that stuff but i was just so at peace because it's like i just knew that's how it calmed me down and that's how i stayed calm i'm gonna spice this up with some ground cayenne pepper and smoked paprika I like things spicy Yeah, so here is my um, quesadilla and I eat it with some sour cream. Okay, so it is way later. I think the last thing I filmed was me eating my quesadilla. My nephews are over and my niece is over. They're sleeping over the house. Because tomorrow is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Is it Jr. Day? Martin? Martin? Martin Luther King Jr. Day is tomorrow. The kids don't have school and we get to sleep. <laughs> Me and Darren actually got to work out today. We worked out tonight actually after we ate dinner. I had spaghetti, Darren made spaghetti. So thank you, hun, for making dinner. I was editing a vlog and these vlogs that you're seeing recently, I'm exercising a lot in a lot of them because I'm trying to exercise like at least five times a week and so is darren well he's been exercising way more than me I missed like two days thank god like i didn't go up or down on the scale so tonight we got to work out I just finished showering as you can tell by my wet hair also darren ended up finding our pastor's instagram i think he was our were you already following him on instagram no, so I decided to kind of, I guess, stalk our pastor's social media because only today we found out that he had a uh, YouTube. Darren found his Instagram, now we're following him on there, and then through that we found his YouTube channel. So go check out his YouTube channel. Go see another Hawaii vlogger, and especially someone who's gonna give a lot of wisdom and light and encouragement and just motivation. Motivation. Subscribe to him too. Wanted to say that we hit. <coughs> Whoa. We hit 1,000 subscribers on this channel. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. On this channel, we hit 1K. I think we're at like 1,015 something like that. I don't know who's counting. Yeah, we actually hit 1K the day of the ballistic missile day reason why I was on my phone in the first place before they sent out the alert is because I was looking at our YouTube channel to just to see you know our subscriber growth because I'm a small channel and I just want to see milestones the night before it was at like 998 and then the next morning I was looking at it and I, was, I seen that it said a thousand and I think 12 or something like that. I was like, oh my gosh, we hit like a thousand subscribers. And then like shortly after that, we got the alert. There was like a ballistic missile coming. So yeah, I'll never forget that day that I hit 1K. And I wanted to end the vlog here and tell you guys good night. And don't forget to put -e that subscribe button. And click on that bell notification just so you know when we upload every time we upload you'll be notified leave a comment down below give this video a thumbs up yeah i think that's all i want to say oh i wanted to do a hawaiian word of the day because like i said i'm supposed to give a hawaiian word of the day in every video and i keep forgetting today's hawaiian word of the day is hale pule which means church hale pule is church in hawaiian and i picked that word today because we went to church today so a hui ho and i'll see you in our next video okay.